Just a little short video of uh, the main town of Tulum. Uh, typical, you know, Mexican roofs. Thatch, I can't recall what the name is, so I was told what it was this morning. Uh, Tulum is the cave dive capital of the world, so you can see that uh, diving flag over there. Plenty of little kind of touristy shops, little restaurants, and uh, some unusual scenes. is post-classical period, that is from 900 to 1540s. Uh, Arturo Gomez in his book Caribe Maya is showing us this unique perspective of the Mayan kingdom. Yeah. Let's play like if we are in a time machine and we can travel just <laughs> like kicking the ground back to yeah. any moment of the classical period. What about the 9th century? 18... no, 850. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Water condensation, uh, the fertility of the dirt change, because we have not the same amount, amount of organic matter producing the dirt, mm. so it would be like unfertile clay. We don't have food, we have famine. Yeah. We are weak, we have disease. Oh, our friends, the ones with the power, and we, the demigods, we are okay, we don't care. Who's dying? Oh, let them die. Anyway, the lifespan is only 25 years because they are workers. Well, wouldn't Mayan people, they were so selfish and arrogant and they didn't care about the gods and they yeah. never worshipped them. But they were so mad with the wood people that they sent a big dra uh, flood. <laughs> And the wood people who survive on the trees. Oops, be careful, there are some ants. Yeah. The wood people who survive on the trees, they became monkeys. Oh. Following the Popol Vuh theory. Remember, we were talking about our poisonous tree. Oh, yeah. I got the camera. So we're up on top of what's this called the the castle? The castle, but we call it the lighthouse. Castle, the lighthouse. Mark, how do you feel? Do you want to try? Yeah, I think so. Go higher up. Okay. And there's a cave that leads. It's to the underneath here. So we are way up here at the top of the pyramid, looking down. Um, this pyramid is aligned with uh, a customs building down there, the, the face of the pyramid is exactly aligned, it's about a kilometer away, so really a excellent thing to, to see. So here we are, we're coming up to a, a river that actually leads from this lake down to the uh, Caribbean Sea. Um, flows quite strongly, surrounded by mangroves. <laughs> Looks like this is the, the customs building for the Mayans. Apparently they had a, some kind of a trade system going. And uh, this is way out in the middle of these swamps and lakes in the Cyan Khan Nature Preserve just phenomenal, really kind of authentic kind of feeling to this place.
So we're still on the float here. You've got a limestone edge, which is heavily undercut. Quite a strong current, but I can stand where I'm, where I'm at right now. And uh, so the camera's misting up a bit. I don't know to what extent it shows. Um, but just crystal clear water, just phenomenal.